Hi and welcome to my video blog. This is Ash and I'm here with you all to share some of the most important updates exclusively related to maritime community. Hey viewers, before I move on to the update, I just wanted to let you all know that if in case you have anything that any information, any educative, knowledgeable information that would help our our generation, our masses, you can always be in touch with me. I will be there to share it to our viewers across the globe and I can pass on the message to them. You can always also send your comments, your feedbacks, any information. You can always be in touch with me through my blog ash.marinebistv.com. You're always welcome. So let's move on to our updates. Uh, the first update is Sangdang postpones plan VLCC dock. It says South Korean yard Sangdang Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering is postponing the construction of a VLCC dock measuring 545 meters in length and 126 meters in breadth, which was meant to be up and running by the end of 2010. This is through Sea uh, Trade Asia. We got this information through Sea Trade Asia. Another information, another update is. New York City Mayor explains how Recovery Act ferry funds will be used. New York City Mayor Mikhail R. Bloomberg, Bloomberg said yesterday that dollar $46.7 million in transit capital assistance grant funds from the Recovery Act will help support four upgrade and maintenance projects on ferry boats and piers. This is through a source Marine, marine Log. The next update is Saudi Aramco preps 400 plus wells at Kure's Mega Project. At the Kure's Mega Project added 1.2 million BPD of oil to the Kingdom's energy stream. The Southern Area Production Engineering and Production Services Department that is SAPED and SAPSD have prepared more than 400 wells required. required. The next update is Talao unlocks, unlocks oil at Negara 1 in Uganda Block 2. Talao Oil announced that Negara, N -G -A -R -A, Negara 1 exploration well, which is located in the Putiaba region of Uganda Block 2, has encountered over 8 meters of net oil pay located approximately 1 kilometer from the crest of the structure. The next update is Mermaid Marine takes delivery of AHTS. It says Mermaid Marine Australia, that is MMA, has, has taken the delivery of a new DP2 8000 BHP AHTS Mermaid Vision. Mermaid Vision is MMA's first vessel with the size and equipment levels necessary to operate as a frontline anchor. We move on to the further updates. It says GE shipping quarter one net drops outlook seen weak. Great Eastern Sh Shipping Company Limited on Friday reported a two-third fall in April-June net profit on a steep fall in freight prices and lower gains from sales of ship. Uh, one of the officials said this and we got this information um, through Reuters. Shipping investment funds a new thread a new trend among ship owners. Just a couple of months after we had reported that a number of institutional investors and investment companies have been actively scouting the Piraeus, Piraeus shipping market for opportunities, market source indicate that another shipping fund is also in line. The final update is Virginia, Virginia International Terminal cuts 90 jobs. It says Virginia International Terminals is laying off 90 employees or 20% of its workforce. Immediately, the operating affiliate of the Virginia Port Authority announced this on August 3rd. Extremely sad. Anyways, that's all that I have for you all today. You can get this information in details at news.marinebistv.com and keep yourself updated. And also, just like I said, you can always be in touch with me through ash.marinebistv.com. Stay tuned, keep watching our blog and keep yourself updated exclusively related to maritime industry. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.